Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Ready. You ready to fight? Alright, so here we go. Get the there. weight and the height is where the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission nice. grappler, great I believe that Keep this is the, the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain no his face, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Nice kick there by Adesanya. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. on the elbow. Highlights DC, and it was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just sitting out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at his red side. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. So he 
He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this goes on. Oh, a huge strike. the shot. Nice move. There you go. Hit him with some strikes. Real nice body kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Israel Adesanya gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Hey. Trying to land that get elbow out. there to no avail. Relax. Oh, that's a good knee. more aggressive now here and starts to find himself in the box. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got aggressive. Oh, he's got to put change that finish down now. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the box. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. Let's go. I don't know what he's going to do too much. He's just him out of your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may this try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so Let bad. What a go. fantastic sweep. Touch his ball. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second. Transition to the judo throw right into side Man, control where he will have no shortage of options. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions. On. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. So inside the uh, open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. This is it. Your striking is what got you here. And your striking is what's gonna get us out of here. All right? All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to now. Oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. He's taking it for a while. Flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did I read my last run? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, hard to win fights working off of your back, but that elbow certainly a useful one. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. I'm trying to get the arm to the side. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. It's over! It's over! <laughs> well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transition. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with...